For complete forecast, here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, looks like we are going to be going a little bit back, edging back toward winter, even though today was the first day of meteorological spring. Uh, it looks like uh, we're back to uh, some chilly temperatures for a couple of days. Sun returns Wednesday. Cool week ahead. We get back to above normal as we go into next week. More of that in just a bit. So here's the big picture. We have an active subtropical jet stream clouds locked in. We have an upper disturbance that's moving through the Texas panhandle along the Red River, and that's going to help uh, enhance the rain chances overnight tonight. And behind it, high pressure will be building on in. So that's going to be our Wednesday, Thursday, but in the near term, plenty of clouds and back to chilly winter conditions with overcast skies and temperatures holding upper 40s to lower 50s for a good part of the day tomorrow. You see the rain across the area today has been wettest in East Texas, the northern part of the state, but some of this rain has been edging into the area, also building into the area as well. And we see that as we put things in motion, mostly light rains across much of Acadiana, some heavier rains down to the south and much of this area should fill in later on tonight night, maybe even a rumble of thunder, especially down toward the coastal parishes through the overnight hours as a low pressure system at the surface skirts just to the south of us. So as we head to this is two o'clock in the morning, temperatures gradually cooling periods of on and off rain through the nighttime hours, and that's how we start off our Tuesday. Plenty of rain out there, lingering lighter rain showers as we get to the midday hours and then by afternoon should be dry, but staying breezy, quite cool temperatures, upper forties to lower fifties gusty northeast winds. Then we clear out for tomorrow night. Graph model always a little bit more aggressive, but going for upper 30s for Wednesday morning. Mid 30 wind chill feel for Wednesday morning. So back to jackets and sweaters for a couple of days. At least lots of sunshine for our Wednesday. Temperatures get back into the low to mid 60s. And as we head into Wednesday night, Thursday morning, another chilly one. Temperatures lower 40s, but back into the upper 60s as we head into Thursday. Rainfall wise, this is the latest model. Model run, not much of a change, a half inch, maybe an inch of rainfall. Most areas will see less than that, so just some soaking rains to water all those dead plants from the freeze last week. That's the way it goes sometimes. Temperature wise, we got us upper 40s to lower 50s, and that's where we stay all day long tomorrow and there'll be a little bit of a wind chill as well in the mid 40s tomorrow night. That's when we dip down upper 30s to lower 40s and then as we head into your Wednesday afternoon into the 60s, plenty of sunshine. So nice weather ahead. Got to pay for it though through tomorrow. So much cooler with periods of rain overnight tonight. Breezy northeast winds, uh, rain chance at 90%, 50 the low, 52 the high tomorrow with showers likely, especially early in the day, but they'll be tapering as we indicated during the afternoon. Gusty north to northeast winds. Wednesday, Thursday, a couple of nice and cool days. Next chance of rain late Friday, Friday night should be exiting the area by early Saturday. And if it works out well, pretty good looking weekend ahead with highs right near normal over night lows a little bit below normal and then spring like temperatures to follow into next week.